Going way back, show with Money B. Money B. Money home for classic hip hop, raw and uncut. Yes, sir. And I got the whole crew with us. Ty Teasy in the building. What's up? Where's Ty Teasy? Where is she? I can't see her. I always like to see her. There she here. is. Ty, she got her Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation hat on. <laughs> <laughs> you right? Yeah, that yeah, was close. That, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> thing, 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 thing. <laughs> and we got the Silver Fox that rocks, DJ always, <laughs> as always. What's happening? And I am your host, Freckle Face Chocolate Chip Boy. <laughs> 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 That's the, what they used to call me in elementary school. The Freckle Face Chocolate Frenzy. Chip Boy. <laughs> Chocolate Chip Boy? Chocolate Chip Boy. I was so Oreo, sure. police car, zebra. I was all the black and white. Police car? Dude, black and whites, <laughs> man. <laughs> Everything black and white that I was associated with. Zebra head. Zebra head. Penguin. Call you panda. Panda. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny because Tariq has a book called Black and White. Are you serious? What? Oh, I've seen that book. Hey, hey, Tatezi, who's all in that book? You got the panda. You got the zebra. Penguin. Penguin. They don't got no police car in that book. They got no police car. No, they don't. What about Oreos? No, no, it's all animals. It's all animals. Okay. Skunk. Skunk, yeah. Uh, and I can see why they call you skunky. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> skunky breath. <laughs> Anyways, you know. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Whoa. It's fucked up. Anyway. You started it. That's right. <laughs> Got a great show today. Um, my guest is uh, Underground Legend. Necro, um, I'm expecting him to show up any moment now. He'll be joining us to talk about, you know, um, his latest projects. And what else are we gonna be doing? We're just gonna have some fun, man. You know, I, I yeah. got a few things I want to talk about. Okay. So, but but first, you know, let's highlight the crew. What's been happening with y'all? Time teasing. Um, my weekend has been well. It was pretty chill. I left the house and went for a pedicure. And um, that was it. And oh, I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Did we lose the visual? Yeah. Always. What's up? How was your weekend? Weekend was cool. I um, ended up DJing for a birthday party for Leah Daniels Butler, who is Lee, Daniel, Lee Daniels' sister. Did the butler do it? <laughs> the butler did it. <laughs> uh, she's also the casting director for Empire, and she she's done a Wait, lot of. Oh, uh, Lee Daniels' sister. Lee Daniels, yeah, Leah Daniels Butler. That's her name. Who is Leah? Her sister. That's Lee. Da- that's Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels' sister. Oh, okay. And yeah, she has Lee a and her sister. Did he change? Well, her marriage name is Butler. Oh, I oh her name is Lee Daniels, Daniels Butler. Butler. Her last name is Lee Dan- Leah Daniels. But she got married, so it's Leah Daniels Butler. I thought you you DJed a party for her butler. No, I, I DJed a party and the butler for her. Party. It was her fiftieth, yeah. and yeah, you know, it you was the jam uh, for my nanny. <laughs> you got the nanny cam. My nanny and my peppy. Nah, but it, it was cool. It was on Saturday. Last went real late. It was out Canoga Park. Um, I was going to invite you guys down, but oh, I yeah. couldn't. No, I couldn't get the okay from Black, who was uh, her her husband. And that was a whole nother ball of wax, but DJ Evil Lee was there, and, and I had, uh, we were up there spinning and just rocking the grooves, and it Who was else nice. Who was in the house? Uh, Busta Rhymes was in the house, Tatiana Ali was in the house, Garcelle Beauvais, um, Tamala oh, Jones, okay. I mean, there was all kinds of people in the house. Where is that drop button when you need it? There it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's just all these people. I ended up meeting Buster at the end of the night and just, man, it was just crazy. It's really crazy. But uh, other than that, you know, my Cowboys lost in freaking overtime to. Let's not the, talk about football. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I know. We got that was Sunday. Passes. Yeah, it, it, was, it was bad. <laughs> Sunday was good. I mean, Saturday was good. Sunday was bad. 
How was your weekend, man? We lost, but we look good. You know, we gotta yeah. get we gotta get Tariq a uh, Niners jersey. So we at least for be, what? For what? <laughs> Hey man, you can't no, abandon the faithful. team just because of I'm a Niner losses. faithful. I'm a Niner faithful. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stay faithful. Stay true. Stay true. Be true to yourself. Don't be like, don't be like a Raider fan. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, Wait, but the Raiders are they were two and one now. They got right? their asses whooped too. So you're two and two now. Alright. Yeah, and 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 one the one week that I actually believed in the Raiders, <laughs> you know, I took the Raiders plus the two points and fucked me over. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. Jake, you a Raider fan? No, something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, I lost money on that. You just hanging out? Huh? You just hanging out all weekend? Um, you doing on Saturday? What did I do Saturday? Not, I ain't really do too much, man. You know, just just hung out. Yeah. Just moving and shaking. You right. I mean? Did I do any yard work? Did I do anything? Probably swam. No, you didn't swim. It was kind of cool this weekend. Nah, it was cool. You're going to swim this weekend, though. It's going to be hot. Yeah, so Yard work. Nothing special, but, uh, <laughs> you know, let's do it like we always do. Oh, he made some chicken. Oh, oh I made what? some bomb-ass chicken, too. See, was, I'm still waiting for the good. ceviche. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. you should have came. You should have stayed till like Tuesday. That yeah. ceviche was good. Oh, chef, oh my God. Chef Mun RB. <laughs> That's my chef name. <laughs> chef Mun RB. Nice. Yeah, I'll be putting it down. <laughs> but let's keep it moving, man. This is the old school new news with Ty Teasy. Run it. It's the old school new news with Ty Teasy. Thanks, man. <clears throat> so, <laughs> 2015 marks the 25th anniversary of a Tribe Called Quest debut album, People's, In- People's In- Instinctive Travels in the Path of Rhythm. Yeah. And to celebrate the 25th anniversary, they are releasing that album this year, of course, on November 13th. So if you guys are interested in that, go out and cop it. <laughs> Up next, we have 50 Cent. Congratulations to 50 Cent, who has marked a two-year deal with Stars. So he will continue to be the executive producer of Power. And he's also going to work with the network on new projects. So congratulations to him on that. And <laughs> LL Cool J's son got arrested while he was celebrating his 26th uh, birthday in New York. Um, he got heavily intoxicated. They asked him to leave this restaurant where he got into it with the bouncers. Oh, no. <laughs> Just like his daddy. <laughs> he do, and, daddy. Uh, he got arrested. It landed him in jail. So that's how he celebrated his birthday, getting fucked up at the restaurant. Wait a minute, go back to that picture, though. Go back to go that picture. Back to the Go back. We hear you, Tariq. <laughs> Go back to that picture. He's trying. Don't it look like like his son got the same size head as LL? He but do. His little body. <laughs> he got a big LL. <laughs> you big LL head looking motherfucker. <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. Oh, and man. also congratulations to Snoop Dogg, who has inked a deal with AOL to start his reality show about his football league. It's called... Hold on. Mm-hmm. That's right. Tell him to read. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop, you faithful, faithful. Snoop, you football league. And the reality show is basically going to be about the um, practices and their journey across the, the you know the United States to play these games. I can't take it. I want to say I'm not you guys, like, I love him, like but that's not happening. <laughs> Just bring him on camera. Uh oh. <laughs> Sign it off. <laughs> we got to get Ty Teasy a break. Oh. You know I I I, I want to see a reality. Well, not a reality show, but I, I kind of wish that I could talk to Snoop to ask him about. You know how he did all that shit for his son. Going oh yeah, UCLA. He even switched up. He went to SC, didn't he? He, he 
go, he, he went to UCLA and you, Snoop basically switched up. Was like, okay, I'm a UCLA fan now. Right. And then his son was like, oh, I don't want to play football. I want to just go to film school. So. No, he didn't say he wanted to go to film school. He said he wanted just to work on films. So he don't even want to go to school? No. So he had quit right before the season start, or, you know, before they started the football season, I guess. That sucks. Oh, sorry about that. It's all right. All right. Uh, where did I leave off? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. After Thank Snoop. Thank you. Okay. So, Missy Elliott is being sued by a promoter out in Brazil. She was scheduled to do two shows where she did not show up. And so, the promoter is suing her for $75,000, which was an advancement to do those shows, Mm. and also suing her for interest on that. So, So 100 grand. (laughs) Yeah. And is anybody interested in Trina doing a new album? I, I think Nicki Minaj needs some type of competition, but I don't think Trina is it. I she just want to see for the pictures. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how hard she's been working out. Yeah, I just want to see for the pictures. <laughs> well, she was in the studio with Rico Love, where he took to his Instagram page, I am Rico Love, and played a cut from a song that they're working on together. Um, and if she does come out with this album, it will be her sixth album. Damn. Mm. And Nicki Minaj, we all songs. know that this month is Breast Cancer Awareness. What happened? Always. Nothing. He said, uh, Money no, said, I don't you, even you know six of her songs. Sixth album. I said, I don't even know six of her songs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I don't. I don't even know one, to be honest. And I appreciate She's the baddest the bitch. I appreciate the music that I know, but I'm just saying, I didn't know she did six albums. I mean, I know she's on one with Trick Daddy, which is Nan, yeah, you know, so. That's Go. the only one I really know then, Both. actually. Okay, so moving on before he gets unruly. Yeah, um, so we all know that this month, October, is breast cancer awareness. So Nicki Minaj, you know, she has that Moscato that's out. She is asking people to buy this Moscato where... Part of the proceeds will go to the research for breast cancer. So, you know, go out there and support and just know that you as you drink, drink responsibly and know that half of your money is going towards a great cause. She has some good flavors, too. She had coconut Moscato and peach Moscato. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's definitely a dessert wine. Mm-hmm. And congratulations to RZA. RZA what? was um, among a few honorees at the PETA's 35th anniversary gala out in Hollywood, um, which took place on September 30th. Um, if we all remember, he did a um, public announcement back in 2014 where he said, I don't need a dead animal or a dead piece of flesh to go into my body to live. Um, He also said that during his um, acceptance speech, he said that it's an award that does not aim to reflect my art. Instead, it reflects my heart. Mm-hmm. But isn't that an art in itself? That it's a rhyme. Yeah, right? Yeah, don't <laughs> like that's going to be in the so next routine song. And that's the main Rizza. part. Um, yeah. um, among the other honorees <laughs> were Bill Maher, um, Tommy Lee, um, and Fred Willard. I don't know who that is. So congratulations to them. And Will Smith is looking for some people to do some collaborations with him. Um, He has like 30 new tracks that he's worked on. So if you guys are, um, want to get on a couple of verse, reach out to Will Smith. And also he's supposed to be going out on a world tour with uh, his DJ, DJ Jazzy Jeff. That's like the first tour in ever, I think. Yep, yep, yep. And are you guys all aware of the battle between Fredo Starr from Onyx and Keith Murray? Yes, yeah, I saw pieces. I saw Keith Murray's part, and I couldn't sit there and watch the rest of it because I had to do something. But he had to restart and all that. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was it well? What do you think? Who do you think won? Oh, Fredro. Fredro killed him. Fredro, huh? Fredro killed him but he from my him. understanding, and actually, we're gonna play a little clip in the next segment. Uh-huh. Is that 
everybody was saying, and, it, and it, just watching it, Keith Murray was high off something. He's either drunk or he was. You he think was, he on that lean? He, I don't know what he was on, but he wasn't. He wasn't articulating his words. He was on one. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He he, he restarted he like four times. He wasn't making fire. sense a lot of times. Yeah. Huh? Well, they did say that uh, Fredro Star won, and he actually spoke with um, Vlad. No, what did he talk to Vlad? No, that he didn't talk to Vlad. But he did a recent interview where he talked about the battle. Starting rumors. Um, the battle MC War was took place in um, Brooklyn. Mm. So, that. Okay, speaking of New York, like we always do. Hold on for a second. I mean, I like the fact that they're doing those battles, too. Yeah. You know, because they're really calling out people. I mean, they need to do it with a lot of these newer artists. Yeah, I, I to, will say I appreciate what the fact that they like. actually came out and did it. Let's, let's, let's put Kendrick and Drake up against each other, you know? do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I feel You know, like, who's scared? Who isn't? Up next, Jay-Z is doing a charity concert for Title at the Barclays Center October 20th. Some of the performers... Performers will be Beyonce, Usher, T.I., Lil Wayne, Prince, Fabulous, and Nicki Minaj. It's going to be over 15 artists um, slated to perform at the event. Wow. So if you're in the New York area, October 20th, check it out. Damn, that's a that's a nice show. Nice. Yeah. Um, Jake, skip the loop. Go to the next one. Let's go to Young Thug. For what? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so Young Thug and Jaden Smith were out seen together mm. uh, where people are speculating that they might come out with a collaboration or a unisex clothing line. So let's uh, keep our ears to the streets and find what? out what they got cooking up and I'll keep everybody else informed. So would you guys rather see a collaboration or a unisex clothing line? How about <gasps> neither? No. Neither. <laughs> were, were they both wearing a, wearing a dress in this in, when they were seen? Maybe. I mean, that's and that's this nah. week's old school new news on the Going Way Back <laughs> show with my man Money B. And as, <laughs> good night. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. <laughs> Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Tariq. <laughs> Shout, out. Shout out! Shout out! Anyway, um, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, Necro will be joining us right here on the Going Way Back show with Money B. Money B. Necro. What up? In the motherfucking house. What How's do you do? man? That was crazy right off the air. It was kind of funny that we were talking about, you know, and, and I want to say you guys just got off the plane from New York. Yeah. You know, so I appreciate you taking no the time. I'm pretty sure you got Motri a busy respect. schedule, you know, to come through. But, we, you know, the song we just heard, the Knots, mixtapes, which was a fairly, I want to say fairly large as far as of the time yeah. in hip hop because it wasn't as big at the time. So mm -hmm. that was like. What, late 80s, early 90s? 90s, yeah, 91. Early 90s? Yeah. And you were saying that you hadn't heard it before. Nope. And it's crazy that a lot of, you know, on here on the West Coast that we consider, like, hip-hop classics, mm -hmm. they didn't reach. A lot of stuff, yeah, didn't reach New York City because, uh, you know, um, I, I grew up on the Stretch Armstrong and Barbito show. Okay. You familiar okay. with that show? Oh, yeah, Sir. of course. And, and so that's, because you only have what you have, you know, mm -hmm. like, like what's available, you know, and... Um, <laughs> But back then, you know, um, whatever I would see play on Video Music Box, uh, would, man, you, you, would, you would see. Ralph McDaniels? You know? Yeah, Ralph McDaniels. Like your guy. stuff would play, you know, whatever they would play. You, you, sometimes you, you could only get what the, the gatekeepers at that moment let you have almost. Yeah, and vice versa, because there's a yeah. lot of underground stuff yeah. that, that we didn't get. And speaking of that, so <clears throat> obviously... Um, that girl, you kind of like an underground legend, you know what I'm saying? You've been in the game, what, for how long? Since? Shit, since uh, um, 90s, uh, 19, well, doing demos right. in like 92. Right, you, you've done a, a lot of work. I dropped my debut in 2000. Like in on 2000? CD, on CD, yeah, my debut album, I Need Drugs, dropped in 2000. Okay, and that being said, I mean, you've done, you know, you've done shit, like you did a whole album with Cool G Rap. Yeah. You've done some production with Raekwon. Yep. Um, yep. Obviously, working with Ill Bill. That's you know, my that, brother. That's, that's yeah, the guy yeah. right there. But, um, you know, give us a little more history, you know, about about where you come from and your influences as far as hip hop. Um, grew up in Brooklyn in the Glen Glenwood Projects. Okay. You know, so basically, just literally out my building, you know what I mean? Dudes is on the bench playing Melly Mel. So uh -huh. by, by the time I was like seven, 
I was reciting Lottie Dottie. We like the pot. I didn't even know what the fuck I was reciting. Right. I just knew it was fresh. And people, I like good. I, I wanted people to hear me. Yo, yo, tell y'all I can do this. I can do this. You know what I mean? So um, we had a channel out there called U68. Okay. And U68 would throw on a Beastie Boys track, then throw on a Rush track, then throw on Run DMC on the King of Rock, then throw on an Anthrax song. Okay. So it was mixing metal and hip hop at the time. Before he was even done. Wow. This channel was sick. Emo Phillips was the uh, the host. Yeah, this, yeah. You, you familiar with that uh, show? Yeah, I'm familiar with with uh, Emo. That's the show that we used to get okay. in Brooklyn. Like it was on the you know the, it was okay. even before Ralph McDaniel. Okay. So I'm being brainwashed by this shit. I'm in my bunk bed. Yeah. Watching fucking uh you know uh, Motorhead, Ace of Spades, and then going into fucking it's like a jungle sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like I, that I, I I basically was living in the projects and I was uh-huh. at a playing metal playing guitar. Mm-hmm. So I, I got influenced by that, and that kind of made my style a real more brutal style than most people. So like I'm doing hip hop, but my subject matter, I'm, I'm, I'm making it a little harsher, a little darker. Yeah, because you want to stand out. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially when you're a white kid, people already are like on that bullshit. Like back then, everything's like, oh you rhyme, oh so you vanilla ice, yeah. and then you want to punch them in their face. Nah, right. I ain't fucking no vanilla ice, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm on right. some ill shit, motherfucker. Well, when you when you first started, you said you came out in 2000. Yeah. Did the uh, Eminem comparisons come? Oh man, you know what was crazy is my my lawyer that I had at the time is a dude yeah. named Cutler and Seidelmeyer, and they and they worked with Seidelmeyer. You know them? No. Okay, but <laughs> Cutler and Seidelmeyer. Like I should. <laughs> they're the dudes that worked with Paul Rosenberg on getting him the deal. They were my lawyer. Okay. And this motherfucker was telling me. In like 98, 97, they don't want to sign no white boys. <laughs> now remember, I'm real young now. Right. So I'm kind of like studying the Donald Passman book, everything you need to know about the music biz. Right. Yeah. That was pretty much, I picked that book up. Somebody, yeah, it's like, white boy, go home. <laughs> <laughs> I no mean, place here. But here's the crazy thing, but where I was coming from, <laughs> right. like in that area, like I was getting respect, but not from the industry. Yeah. See, the industry, like in New York City, they don't, they're, they're very, it's very close minded. Okay, like, like you're only allowed to have one white boy every 10 years. You're only right. allowed to have one Latino every 10 years. Right, and one hot chick. And it's, it's just limited. It's like, yeah. it, it, what happens is everybody want to judge you. Everybody want to judge whether you're real or not. You know, so right. it don't matter how real I was keeping it, how what I was doing. It always came back to some stupid shit anytime I came across somebody. Okay. Oh, so you Jewish? So you're going to rap about being Jewish? No, I'm a thug. I sell drugs. I'm in the hood. I punch people in the face. Do you really? It's like that kind of dumb shit I was coming across everywhere I went. Right. So it got to a point, my biggest influence at that point, that's why I said I dropped in 2000, was Master P. Okay. The reason why is he was the only dude explaining how to do shit independent. Right. Nobody else in interviews would actually tell you how to break down pressing up a record and doing it. Yeah. Like you had Shug doing it, you had Puffy doing it, you had Russell, but they it's didn't it's tell 40. you. E40, too short. It's the Bay Area, we was doing it like Exactly, that. exactly. Every, every, you know what I mean? I got m- mad respect for everybody that did it from the West. Right. And, and, and I watched all that. That's why right. I, I had said Suge was doing People don't even know that he was independent right. from that beginning stages. You know what I mean? I like, and but he wasn't, a lot was of it, people. Wasn't Duck Down doing it as well, kind of? Or was they always yeah, associated? Yeah, they were doing it. Yeah, they were, I was in the first Black Moon video. Okay. There's a little kid with rocking polo. Oh, jumping right? up in the background and who got the props video. We knew Buckshot, real name Kenyatta, when he was selling oils on the corner. Oh, really? We used to see him every day, and, and you know, and he was, yeah. African shit? Yeah, he's still wearing the oils. He's stinking everything the fuck up. I told him he's dead in on oils, Tone. I'm going to buy Tone some fucking, you know what I mean? We're going to take him to the store. Right. Get him something. He's getting the raw, yo, he's getting the flavor called Lucci. Oh, Lucci, we know what Lucci means, but I'm thinking he's getting Susan Lucci. Some old fucking shit, cause he's stinking. Jesus. I'm just, I'm just, yo, you got to deal with that, babe, because you know what I mean. Cause I can't be in the same room with you sometimes. All right, so look, yeah, let's, um, we were talking earlier, and I'm sure you guys are all aware about the um, the, the Fredro Star Keith Murray battle. I saw that. The, I was watching now, it the, the other day. You see that shit? Now, they didn't see it, but I watched it. Now I got, I got a, I got a clip you, that I want to play. You know, we want to talk okay. about it. I want to get you guys' opinion. Let's, okay. Let's run a little piece of that Keith Murray, Fredro joint. The truth is smoking. Granddaddy Kush really not worth it. And now we don't do the move, bro. I got 400 niggas in here that'll beat your ass right now. 
We can keep it on camera, keep it professional. Yeah, see, yeah, that's it. We can keep it professional, I like the metal spark. I take your ass from here, back to Sunset Park. We can keep it professional and let the metal spark. I take your ass back here from the suspect pump. You are Hollywood. I'm Hollywood. If I gotta have your ass talking like Big Freedom Good. Frog face. How could you be so dumb for a hundred years? You gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I, fu I fully enjoyed watching this. It was really no, interesting. I, 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 hey, hold on. That one name you got to play. You got to do Fredro. Yeah, because Fredro Fredro's killing it. it. Fredro came very prepared. I'll he give did. Him that. He, he came did. prepared. In this battle, yo, he killed him. Yo, but I like Keith Murray, though. I always liked his flavor. He got a good energy. When I see them all, they want to have a good conversation. I'm like, what the fuck you say, son? Like a bunch of retarded kids. Now they want to play dumb. Look, stop all that sucker shit. It's like a rape victim. You don't know who you fucking with. <laughs> Got the game. He was, he was coming with lines, yeah. but, 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 but Murray's kind of like pushing everybody around, though. Like, he don't even have to drop rhymes. He's just basically beating them by pushing motherfuckers on stage. Okay, now, now my, my first, just from watching the video... My first assessment is Keith Murray was drunk. Yeah. He was high. He was on something. He, he, because he was he, tripping. He, he, yeah, he looked he like wasn't, he was He wasn't articulating his words. His words. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. getting it out. And I think that because Murray, like you said, he probably just wanted to come on his, his aura and feel like his just his natural flavor was going to do it. Well, yeah. And Fredro came prepared. Did that go to break? Okay. But you know, what's your thoughts what on I'm that? What I'm thinking what happened is they were supposed to do it officially, you know what I mean? The way originally. Right. And I think the business fell through on that. And then they probably it kind of fucked the energy up. Uh -huh. Like, you know, when you, you like, I'm sure Keith probably prepared and, and was ready to do it and both. And maybe, you know, we don't know the business behind it. So we don't really know what happened. Maybe they didn't get paid for it. Maybe, maybe these dudes like, you know, see, it's hard for me to judge the situation yeah. without knowing the information. That would make an ass a lot of me if I just judge it by saying, oh, dude, is this, you know, didn't come the way. Well, I from mean, my perspective, just nah, from and, a street and, perspective, and it all makes I would sense. be fucked up to judge a dude. I don't know what he's going through before that, you know what I mean? But I do know that Fredro rocked him. I'll agree. That, I'll, I'll, agree Fredro with you. Yeah. I'll agree with you that um, from a battle tip, yeah, I would say Fredro came with, um, he had, well, you see, basically, Keith Murray was repeating his lines. Yeah, that, 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 you, that you can't do. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, exactly. That rival, you can't do. Right? But like I said, though, you know what I mean? I don't know, dude. I don't want to straight up disrespect someone. Well, it's not a disrespect when you call it like you see it. Then, then, you just if we're going to call it like we see it, I'm going to keep it real. Face value. He repeated, he repeated the verses like three that. times. That you can't do. Right. There's really no reason to do that. Okay. Why would you do that? Once, right. you, once you kick it once, you're good money. Yeah. You, don't, you don't do it again. Yeah, yeah, but go back maybe to... he felt people wasn't hearing it. Like I said, I don't know. Like if I was out there and I was doing my verse and I felt like the crowd wasn't feeling it or the mic was low, yeah, I might just tell everybody to go fuck themselves and just all together. So I, you know what I mean? Like, but in but, this situation, but I agree that with you. Wasn't, that wasn't this situation. And when I, okay. like I said, when I first saw it, he, you know, Keith Murray started, and then he he started saying this thing, and then all of a sudden he stopped and he'd start over again, and he did that four times, right, right. off the bat. I, I think most people, from what I've seen, you know, yeah, they're giving it to Fredro on that. You know? yeah. yeah. All right. So look. So look. We got to take a break. When we come back, I got one more battle clip that I want to get your opinion. It might even be a little close to home. Okay. Um, coming from our earlier conversation. Okay. You know what I mean? So we're going to take a break. Take a break. No doubt. I sound like Keith Murray. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> but next no, show, right here on the Going Way Back show with Money B. Money B. We're in sync, man, because I was watching this shit yesterday randomly. Oh, I didn't even know this shit dropped. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? This your boy, Crazy Bone. Man, I'm the bum Keith G, man. And whenever you sitting at home and can't shake the monkey off your back. Yeah, yeah. Then just know every Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m., right. you can tune in to the Quick Fix and get your fix on, man. Right here on TRadioV.com, baby. Radio and TV. So how they gonna see us on the radio then? Radio? I, I don't know. Or is it TV and radio? But it's, it's one of them. I gotta figure this radio and TV thing out, though, bro. I don't get understand. Together. I'm gonna get tell my together. mom what we, how she gonna see get us. Get it together. Talk about me and my niggas, the outlaw worldwide, my figures from triumph to tragedy. 
to right back on top, and niggas still mad at me for pushing that big truck on 24. My square feet and ATL game locked, yo. Now that's what my nigga got shot for, being too motherfucking raw for this fuckboy. See the darkness, see the light, he wanna kill it. Misery loves company, and that's the real shit. But in 2004. Hilarious. Okay, we are talking about the chicks. I fucked you, Zoe Page. What can I tell you? So who'd you fuck? You fuck? I fucked Zoe Page, and I fucked Diana, who's gonna be mad because she's pregnant now, and her baby father's gonna get mad. I don't give a fuck about her baby father, but I respect Diana. She's a sweet girl. She's a Wait, rider. Diana, you're a fucking literally, rider. Literally. Wait, how, how many months pregnant? <laughs> she's from Vegas. I don't know, but I know that she was trying to deny the video. How many months ago did you fuck? Oh, <laughs> about nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I, I use rubbers. Wow. Imagine Man. my first kid with you, Diana. I'm going to keep it real. I, I, I'd fucking be happy. Mm, Little Jewish drop. Mexican kid. What's up? A Jewish Let's Mexican do it. kid. He'd be the Jexican. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind a, a little Jexican. Jexican. I don't mind a little Jexican. A Jexican. <laughs> I, I, I am <laughs> against it. He'd be George Jexican. <laughs> you know something? I'm at the point. I'm at the point where I seen like like years ago. I, I wouldn't want a kid like that. Then I seen ODB had like ten kids, and right. I thought he was crazy. Nah. Now as I get older now. Yeah. I'm like, that must Spread have been kind of fly. Yeah, you ever go to seed. different cities and you got kids, eventually they turn old, Tell they're fighting you, for you. Right. You so, yeah. And, and you, you got all these chicks in the video, and I know you kind of like um, a- aspiring to move in that direction as far as like with the whole sex thing. Now, before we talk about that, yeah. I, I just want to cap off, you know, we're talking about the whole battle shit yeah. um, with Fred Rowe and Keith Murray, yep. and then I kind of want to go back to... A, a, a special battle, you know. Like I said, it take you back because it, it, it involved your man Melly Mel, wow, and damn. and and Willie D at the Ghetto Boys. Oh, but I was Ghetto Boys is one of my biggest influences. In '92, they actually had a boxing match. I know it was in the featured in the source, right? And Willie, and Willie D, D, D knocked him out. Yeah. So we got like a little video. I clip. love Willie D. Let's let's play this clip because Willie D kind of put it. You know, Willie D is the shit. That's a real battle. But he kind of caught him like this. Actually, you can see Willie yeah, D. Has, like some, Willie some, D had some skill. Yeah, he, he had nice before. Yeah, yeah. Melly just nice. buff. But he gonna catch him on some uh, Rocky Apollo Creed shit. At the same time. Melly probably handled himself in the street and all that yeah, good shit. But, oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. He caught him. Okay. Down goes Frazier. Nah, obviously <laughs> the white is, 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 is Willie D. Down yeah, goes Frazier. <laughs> Down goes Frazier. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and, and Melly Mel was probably sleeping, thinking I'm, I'm going to take this dude out, like, who are you from Texas? Oh, yeah, that was a quick yeah. nap. I, I, I could imagine. That was a quick nap. <laughs> now, just for the record, yeah. You, yeah. Ghetto Boy's a huge influence of mine. All right. The right. album Rick Rubin produced for them in 1990 yeah. Yeah. changed my fucking life. Yeah. Okay, so I showed that to, to ask you guys, you know, as far as past the present, you know, cast has been beefing as far as battling or beefing or wax or whatever. Yeah. Who would you want to see in the ring get down like that? Who would I want to see? Cast that have been beefing or... I want to see LL and Cabez get in the ring. Oh, oh I no. just saw them take a picture That's together. That's like a, a heavyweight nope. versus a Okay, okay, okay. Like, well, all right, but a kid. I, I, the second I, you asked it and I thought that I was like, of course, LL's going to win. So fine. Yeah, he's going to more, A more even battle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit. Who the fuck... Fat Joe and 50 Cent. Nice. Head up. Okay. Yo, head up. 50 no Cent gloves. and Ja Rule. No gloves. Nah, 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 nah. Ja Rule's easy. We know Joe gets busy. Yeah. Okay, like, he already, 50 Cent already snuffed Ja Rule and punched him in the face and he didn't do shit. But Joe and 50, that would be crazy because you know Joe is going to go all out. You know what I mean? Because he has heart like that and he's legendary. You that one. In a perfect world, if you can make it happen. Right. Um, unfortunately, it can't happen right now, but it would be... Machiavelli the Don put the beats on Puffy. That's what I want to Nice. That's a, oh. that, that would be an even. That would be because they both around the same size. Yeah. So that might be. I a, got an even better one. Okay, go ahead. If you want to go there. All right. Machiavelli and Prodigy. Oh, nah. Yeah. But they're both the same size. No, 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 no. Kind of like height wise. Prodigy is my size. Yeah. Okay, I never really met yeah, him in person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. He's, he's my size. Okay. He's my size. Well, I die. We, we already know, you and, know. And so it's like, yeah. Pocket, how tall are you? Uh, yeah, Pocket's his size and Pocket's okay. my size. Okay, okay. So if you stand up, it's not really the same size. Okay. 
I mean, I mean, shit. I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get down. He's like sizing me up. I mean, I'll yeah, I, I think I would have liked to see DJ Quick and, and MC8. Oh. oh. But I wonder, I wonder, no. you know, MC8, they're about the same height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some gloves. Yeah. That might be even or or even... Um, I think maybe L and, cool, and, and um, Kumo D back in the day. How about Ooh. Ice Cube and Easy? Ice Cube. Rolling it out. Easy. Right in the prime. Right when Ice Cube dropped no Vaseline. Maybe. I easy would, would get that. I don't know. Cause nah. easy, easy was stout, <laughs> well, but Cube had to, had to yeah, reach. Yeah, he was a little bit bigger. Yeah, he had to yeah, reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know, we can sit there and think about it all day. But Necro, let's get back to you. Yes, um, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, like I said earlier, we're looking at the video. Um... I hear that you, you kind of want to take your music, like you, you said in the beginning that, you know, you, your, your music, you know, your dark is darker, it's a yeah. little deeper and it goes off. But um, as far as the whole sex game and hip hop, you know, what are your thoughts and, and, and how do you see yourself being involved in that? Because I see you're already moving in that direction. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, like like in 2002, I dropped a porno. Okay. I made a porno. It was the first porno that Laney, La Laney Barbie, Penthouse pet of that year, taking it up her ass. By and, you? Um, no, no, I didn't fuck in the movie. Okay. Matter of fact, as it was being filmed, I insisted to be like ten feet away. You directed it. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be under balls and all that. I made this dude. So film you didn't, you didn't, hold the you didn't hold the cooch. The cooch like. No. Matter of fact, you put your finger in it. Come on, with her? Nah, I mean, you know, you know, like, the, you know what the cooch light is? is. She was nah. Cooch light is you gotta have a light because you don't want shadows. There. Oh, okay. So when you're shooting, that. you have to have somebody he hold the knows. light. Right there. Oh, okay, so right. That is, is at maximum light. I always so wondered no how, they, how they do that. Yeah. So oh, somebody got to hold okay. the cooch light. Okay. But the only thing about holding the cooch light sometimes, depending on how they move, you know, you might get a drop like, of sweat yeah, here and there. Yeah, yeah. So. Hey, listen, yeah, yeah. The, Tone got that. Somebody, yeah. Tone the, got that. The guy job. who holds the cooch light, he got to be, he gotta be down with you. Hold on, I think we got a caller. Hey, 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 hey. Uh oh. It's, it's Tom TZ. Hey, Tom TZ. I'm, this. This goes back to the question who I want to see in the ring. Okay. Money being Shock G. <laughs> That's, Shock got way more reach. Yeah, I don't know if I can, can get in there. Can you box? I mean, I can box a little bit. I'm, I'm more of a wrestler, though. I have to grab him and twist him up. You know, I wrestled and, in high and, school. And, and I think you can win. Yeah, some MMA I got shit. Your back. I might get him. I, I mean, taking it back, yo, I had to twist Pac up one time. Oh, you feel me? But this was back close when I was nearer to being out of high school like i said i wrestled in high school and one time he tried to jump bad and i had to yeah. break him down fold him like a it happens, it happens like lennon happens. one time yeah, yeah. yeah he was he was upset but you know what i'm saying it, <laughs> it went like that i'll tell y'all that story a little later on but so go ahead you said you directed the film all right yeah, that's, so it. That, that's it great what'd you show. say todd Teasy? i'm sorry that's, that's it that's it that's it great show oh thank you thank you all right that's how that's our co-host Tanya, I don't know if you have to see her. Hello. She's not in studio, but she's definitely AKA the, the third, the third member of the, of the crew. Shout out to Tanya Teasy. What up? Big shouts. So yeah, so basically, what I was, you know, uh, uh, so whatever. So I was trying to get into the porn game, and, and yeah. I wasn't really getting love. Right. So I'm in New York, and in New York City at the time, they don't have a porn scene. Right. It's you. It's L.A. or uh, 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 I had to go to Montreal to shoot the porn. But when wow. I did, I went to Montreal and hired these French. You couldn't just shoot it in L.A. I mean, in, in um, I New should, York? I should, no. New York was difficult to get girls. There was no agents. I couldn't get nobody to get me fly bitches. All the girls were ratchet looking. Right. It just, it ain't a scene. And, and it bugs you out because you think, how the fuck is New York not have a porn scene? But it's because of the, they shut down 42nd Street, Giuliani. The whole, it's like they tried to dead the whole shit. Everything. <laughs> and I know exactly what you're talking about because at the time that I was shooting, I went to New York. I think it was like some kind of. I was there, and I was surprised that there was nothing. You know what's crazy? Yeah, we have a whole valley it. dedicated to that shit. Like, no. like there was a bunch of, no. bunch of chicks in New York talking about they wanted to come out to L.A. to, to really do it, We're or they would come out. Her. It bugged me out, you know. Remember, like, I never really traveled anywhere. I never even went to L.A. before, you know what I mean? So right. for me, like, I'm not even thinking in terms of that expanding. I'm like, And then also, is, legally, there are certain laws. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's it falls under prostitution, doesn't it? Or something yeah. like that. Well, so what do you want to do with so, the yeah, music? So, so basically, I've been rapping sex. I'm I'm one of the only rappers in hip hop that dropped a full beginning to end sex album. Okay. And it's been a minute since I dropped the second one. Okay. But uh, you know, like uh, it's just super explicit. So you know, it's a style of mine called sexist. I call it the sex. Nice. And um, we might have to do a collab. I'm with it. That's Let's got to make it happen. Yeah. You know what I mean, so what, what I always wanted to do was like. 
perform. Like, I should be, like, when AVN comes around, how the fuck they don't have me there? Yeah, especially if you have the album. Yeah. yeah, like, you know what I mean? I always felt I should be more involved in that world, you know? And, and, I, and I'm not really, let's keep it real, I'm not really a social dude. Should I do hip-hop, I do my thing, but I'm not really Mr. Politics. So, right. you know, like... I, I'm sure if I was going everywhere, maybe more things would happen, but it's not really my... I'd rather be in the crib making beats, writing raps, running my business, right. than being everywhere, shaking hands and all that. And I never really liked the industry of... Shaking industry hands running. and rubbing pussies? That I'm with. But, I do, <laughs> but I've do. i been doing that, though. You okay. know what I mean? Like I, like, like, I went to Spain, you know, and these two strippers, is, you know, I fucked them. They gave me the best blowjob ever, and they're telling me it's because of my Who's Your Daddy song. Like, so I'm getting this love, and, and just so you know, I'm 100% indie. But I've never have... been on a major in my life. Yeah. I funded every record I've ever released and produced every record I've ever released. Nice. So it's not like, like I built something where people, I'm under the radar. Mm -hmm. But I'm under the radar to who don't know me. But the bitches that know, they take, you know, they're getting fucked on tour. And these are young girls too. Yeah, but it has really to be the young. ones that are in, like 20, in, in 21. the industry. You gotta kind of, kind of. Well, like you know, like Asa Akira, she's a fan of mine. Okay. But I never really built with her. I put her on one of my DVDs. I'm okay. good friends with Joey Silvera, the porn star. He, um, the legendary porn. He let me film a video in his crib. He was mad cool. I shot one of my videos that had Savannah Stern in it and um, uh, fucking Rebecca Lanerez. You know, and she was up in my video. And, you know, so I've always, you know, I love porn. You know what I mean? Like I'm a fan of porn. Okay. But the business, I've never really cracked into it, and I always felt my music should be more involved. It's not that I, like, I don't want to do music for porn movies, because nobody gives, nobody's watching a porn right. to hear music. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's more, like, I feel more porn stars should fuck with my music, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, that, it's that kind of thing. I want to get my shit out to more people that like sex. Okay, so you just, you feel like your, your music should be a part of that culture. Yeah, and it's not as much. Like, there's porn stars that fuck with me, so you could ask random chicks, yo, you fuck with Necro? And they'll actually, yeah, I fuck with him. Okay. But I don't go to any of these parties, and I'm not involved, I'm not promoting my brand. Right. That's how, my brand should be more involved, and it hasn't really. Part of it is probably living in fucking Brooklyn for all these years. I think you do need to get out to AV and, and politics and, yeah. and, and, and maybe get involved or find out who are some of these DJs that are, that are, you know, DJing these events or, you know what I mean? You know, you know the kind of bullshit I've dealt with? I'll give you an example. I have friends in New York, DJs, okay. big DJs. I'm not going to mention their names, but there's like two of them are big DJs. And one of my biggest songs, my biggest sex song is a song called Who's Your Daddy? Okay. Where I'm just destroying shit sexually. And um, people like it. And these guys would play it and they would be like, yo, Negro, I was told to shut it off. It's too foul. Right. Like, like in New York is on some bullshit. I'm gonna straight up say I'm from Brooklyn, New York, my whole life. Okay. New York is the worst fucking city in period for hip hop. Mm. It's the biggest hater, piece of shit fucking place. Nobody shows love. I mean, it's apparent. You know what I mean? That's why I love the West Coast because I, I'm bigger here than in New York. Wow. I'm from Brooklyn, right? There's probably right. no other white kid in Brooklyn, New York that is more known than me. Right. That has more Facebook likes. All this. Nobody gives a fuck about me in Brooklyn. That's crazy. It's a, it's a, but yet, like, if you're from the sack, or you're from out there, yeah. you, you had love from your neighborhood. Brooklyn is on some other shit. They'll show Lil Wayne more love than me, and I'm from there. Well, believe it or not, I think that is a lot, it's like, like, it's a lot like that with a lot of artists. Because I will say, <clears throat> even Digital Underground, when we were coming up, being from the Bay Area, we got more love in L.A and say like Houston or Seattle, oh, okay. and we wouldn't have been at a certain point. You know, one, at one point we were, you, you know, just, yeah. obviously we, we definitely hold well, our place to, you got in to the a Bay level, Area. Yeah. But then it's like it was even a higher level when we started coming to LA. I'm like, wow, really? I'm talking about in the beginning stage. Yeah. So I mean, sometimes they don't appreciate you because they they see you all the time and they, and you're there and you're you're so attainable and they can. You know, they can reach out. Well, the thing is, I don't, I don't get love from like the hot 97 world. Like, it, to get love from like that world, you yeah. gotta be dropping records that specifically, like, I could drop records that are fire as fuck, lyrical as fuck. Right. And it, for some reason, there's a problem with it. Mm. With, these, with these New York people, like, they, they just, they're not feeling it. Yeah, I think that's. They don't feel me. Yeah. Like, like, as if I'm not real enough for something. But I'm more real than all of them. None of them grew up in the hood. None of them fucking banged out. None of them sold anything. These right. are just herbs, like like straight pussy. Well, I, I'm, but I'm, they'll look at me and say that I'm fake. 
That's like it's a, it's a twisted, and it's a sick fucking mentality in New York City. Well, let's just say it's it's that makes it even better that there is independent avenues and that we can continue to do our thing. So that being said, yeah, you know, let everybody know what the the latest project and how they can find you on social media if they want to um, get. Oh, check me out on Necro Rules Instagram forward slash Necro Rules. It was originally Necro Hip Hop, but they banned me because I was promoting links. Okay. Literally, Instagram will dead you for promoting links. So I had like 15,000 people and lost them all. Mm. So now my new page is uh, Necro Rules. You can check me out on Facebook under Facebook forward slash Necro Hip Hop. And then Twitter, Necro is God. Necro underscore is God, or whatever how you spell it. And, um, you know, I'm up on the social networks. And uh, check out YouTube. YouTube forward slash Necro Video. And um, that's all my stuff, you know, where people mm. can reach me and... Uh, I just dropped Lickin' Pussy. Okay. And the next song I'm dropping, uh, it drops on iTunes on the 23rd. It's a song called Take Hip Hop Back. Okay. It features, it's me, and it features a rapper named Vinny Paz okay. and another rapper named Immortal Technique. I know Immortal Technique. And it's the first track with all three of us on it. And in our world, you know, the underground hip hop world, like, people love us three, but we've never been on the same track and video. So right. This is going to be a real big track. And in the track... I name drop, you know, some shit, you know, like I talk about how hip hop's fucked up, you know, like I said, um, one of the lines is I was like, and I actually big up, I say, fuck your wifey, run yeah. up on you hyphy, holding a knifey, you ain't a soldier, boy, I'm riding with iced tea, mixed with vodka, sitting shotgun with the Glock, punk cop, taking hip hop back, shoot up your commercial block, pop, pop, pop. I'm um, basically the, the song is basically I throw in little things, kind of like you know. You know what? I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna ask my guys a, a favor, if you don't mind. Can I get 30 seconds to get 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 a bar from Necro? Because I know a lot of cats is listening and they yeah. don't know that you could bust. You know what I'm saying? No I've been kind of no studying. Doubt. Can can we get 30 seconds for him to give us a hot eight or something? Yeah, I got something. Because I know I, I know I know Crazy and them not coming right now, so we got it. Okay. Acapella? Always, nah, this is on the beat. Okay. Always throw some more. Give me something. Turn this shit up. Can you hear it in my headphones? Can you hear? Yeah, is that the beat? You want a different one? No, 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 no. I think with my dick and my prick is in need of a stunt. I'm profoundly in love with shoving the glove in your cunt. I love your headshot, now show me your soaking wet twat. My red hot cocks in your throat like you're smoking cess. Poking your neck, choke you to death. My cocks are cobra possessed. You're a piece of flesh bent over a desk. Don't care if a bitch has a man. I fuck you as hard as I can. Grab your tits and examine them like a mammogram. I pack a vicious dick, slipping your brittle tushy, your neat little pussy delicious clit. Cunt. <laughs> A little yeah. porn shit right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, Necro, appreciate you coming Thank through. Thank you, man. It's an honor. The whole, the whole crew, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead. Shout it out. Say your name, goddammit. Mr. Hyde. What's the Twitter? <laughs> Mr. Hyde Twitter, man. Uh, uh, Mr. Hyde 666-777. Uh, He's making it right Instagram. now. Instagram. <laughs> That's the shit right there. <laughs> I've been with Necro since the beginning. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, shout so out. What's up, Tone? You know what I mean? Tone Space. You can find me on YouTube, Tone Space. Uh, Instagram, same name. You know what I mean? He got the uh, motherfucking eyebrows like... Uh, What's the actor name? <laughs> the dude from Game of Thrones? <laughs> no, I guess you do. Yeah, he's unreal, this guy. He's, this guy is unreal. He looks like guy. he need to be in Goodfellas. <laughs> he brings all the bitches in, eyebrows. He got the Goodfella <laughs> eyebrows. That's, oh, wait. That's our Harlem flavor right here. I'm, I'm Brooklyn. He's Queens. And, and this is Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. Oh, y'all need Staten so Island, you're, motherfucker. You're missing uh, the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, missing right? Bronx. Not, I got peoples in the Bronx, yeah. but you know. Yeah. yeah, but right, you know, we can't bring everybody on top. I understand. You know what I mean? You know, five girls money. Lord, I understand. You can find me at uh, Always In Your Ear on Twitter and R Always on Instagram. And every Friday I do the Afternoon Drive Mix on the Foxhole on Sirius XM yeah. at uh, yeah. 12 p.m. So yeah, get them the record. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to get that and put get you out the there. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll exchange contacts sure. and all that. Yes, sir. Much respect, much respect. Oh, yeah, Appreciate you can find it. me on all social media at MoneyB69. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Going Way Back Show. And check out the website, Going Way Back Show. Dot com and of course Ty Teasy is T O N underscore T E E Z Y and Tariq we got to get your Instagram but it's yeah. coming <laughs> I know right you don't you got an Instagram me? no he's he's a baby he's a oh, baby. Oh, okay. you know he's starting out he's the fourth member but he's gonna have it soon oh, okay. yeah you know what I'm saying I want to thank everybody for checking us out Necro once again thank yes, you for sir, coming yes, through sir. always Ty Teasy 
We'll be back next week, but until next time, people, please be easy. It's the Gone Way Back Show with Money B. Classic hip-hop, raw and uncut. Thanks for visiting the Going Way Back Show channel. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and click that like button.